Okay, today we are going to learn how to export to Excel some data from the database using OutSystems. First of all, we'll go to our page and I'm going to add a button. I am going to rename that button. And there we go. All right. We have a button. That's what we'll use to eventually call the, uh, the, X, uh, X, the list. Next, we're going to go to a server action. This is going to do most of the work. We are going to drag a, a, an aggregate, the get states aggregate, which gives us the list of state. Then we're going to do the record list to Excel widget. And we're going to point it to the get state list. And then we're going to choose all the attributes because we want to expand or send out everything. Now, in order for this to work, we have to add a variable that is binary because the list has to be passed as a binary variable. So we create, we, well, first let me rename it real quick, export to Excel. That's our, 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 uh, our server action. And now I'm going to add um, a variable to it, an export variable, an output parameter variable. And I am going to name this There we go. And now I am ready to work with it. So I, I'm going to do an assignment. So I grab the assign and then I put my variable in it. And nothing is showing up. So I'm going to see if I have a, a aggregate there. And obviously I do. So that's not really the problem. So here's the problem. It's telling me that I have a Boolean, but I'm trying to pass out a record list. So my variable is an incorrect data type. I need to change that to binary data. There we go. Now this should work. And when I click on it, I can see the record list to Excel one, which is um, what we want. Okay, we are done with the server action. Now, we're going to go back to the page and we're going to create a client action. And this client action is going to do a download. So we remove the end bit there. Yep. And we add a download. And now we're going to grab our server action and bring it over. There we are. Now we should be able to Right on there, we want the, the out variable of the uh, server action, and we need to give it a name. This is the name of what the file is going to show up as a download. So I'm going to call it statelist.xls. There it is, and is now named correctly. So we're missing something. We got a big red X at the very top. Let's go to the front page and see what we got going. Uh, of course, we haven't assigned an on click event. So now we're going to add the on click event to the button. And the on click event is to the action. Let's rename that action real quickly. I don't, I don't like the, the default name. So what do we name this? Okay, here we go. No, no, no. That sounds too much like a aggregate. Here we go. Okay, so we have renamed it. And we take a look at the button. We go to the on click event. And we point it to the export list. Now we should be ready, right? So let's compile this.
and it has compiled and let's run it see what happens there's our button we click on our button and let me show you down there you see the the uh, the file so it has worked and that my friends is how you export to Excel a list uh, to Excel from the database in out systems and here you go that's our Excel spreadsheet hey thank you very much for uh, watching this video and Keep your eyes open for more of them. Talk to you later, and uh, hey, continue trying your, your luck at OutSystems.